Stuart, where are those 16 new lawyers you were supposed to hire? <laughs> 16 new lawyers? I don't have them yet because it's so hard to hire lawyers to represent the Church of Scientology. At a thousand dollars an hour? Yes, here, and, and let me explain why. I won't talk to any law firm or any lawyer that doesn't charge a thousand dollars an hour because COB wants the best. Now when I talk to a lawyer, especially at a big law firm, the law firm says, well, what are we doing here? Do we want the Church of Scientology as a client? And some law firms think that you're worse than big tobacco or even asbestos. <laughs> to explain that no you're a religion. <laughs> Sometimes after they get up off the floor laughing, uh, I know they're not a lawyer for us. So we have to have people who really believe that they can represent you. And not all law firms want to represent the church. They think it might hurt them in the future. Mm. So I'm working on it, but I have 16 lawyers in Texas and Florida. Finding 16 more I have to get them to submit to life histories for your requirements. The life history, they have to write down every sexual encounter. We need to know that they are not gay. We need to know that these lawyers don't go in for kinky sex. We need to know that they don't do threesomes or anything blackmailable. We do have enemies. The church has enemies. But one of the problems when I go to a, someone who's graduated, say, from Harvard Law School and give them a life history, they tend to roll it up like this. <laughs> and you know, they tend to roll it up and tell me to stick it. <laughs> not all lawyers are going to disclose that, even for money. I have to make sure these law firms are not connected to psychiatrists or big pharma. I have to make sure they're not connected to the CIA. So by the time I make sure they're not bad in the eyes of the Church of Scientology, it whittles down the pool of available lawyers. Mm. Most of the big law firms are working with the pharmaceutical industry, or they're working with the medical lobby, or they're working with groups that Scientology doesn't like. There is one thing Yes. when you do the lawyer hiring we want lawyers connected to judges. We want lawyers that judges favor. That's why I'm going to Washington, D.C. next week. A lot of lawyers there are complete whores. They like working for controversial organizations. I'm sure I'll do well in D.C. Yeah. The lawyers must understand they do what Miss Cabbage tells them to do, our beloved COB. Yeah, that part. Some lawyers don't like having the client ordering them around like that. Mm. And, uh, you know, they might... I have to explain to them that Mr. Miscavige can be very dramatic and forceful in telling them what to do. You know, some of these people have graduated from Harvard or Yale or, you know, Cornell, top law schools. They might not like being yelled at in a conference room. So we just have to... But look at the media they'll get. There's yeah. a bonus there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They have to consider the future of their firm. Does working with Scientology help them or hurt them? Believe it or not, some law firms think that it will hurt them and they don't want you as a client. Other firms don't care. That's who we're looking for, the people who like the big fat paycheck. Yes. Don't really care about down the road. Stuart, where are the new eight Freedom Magazine journalists that the church announced they were hiring? Okay, well, hiring writers is a lot easier because there's more writers that are whores who are out of work. Mm. So really, the right kind of lawyer for the Church of Scientology basically has to be seedy, you know, willing to be pretty dirty. I want them to have some tabloid experience, preferably, really know how to sling mud. Plus, they have to be willing to maybe show up with the squirrel busters. Oh, Marty, can you go get me your meter? Marty, can you bring me a PC folder? 
So will you get me a PC folder, Marty? They have to be willing to know how to take orders from Ms. Gavage while not knowing it's Ms. Gavage. If you get my drift? But you're talking tabloid. You sent me a memo saying you needed private jets, lobbyists, PIs, five-star hotels. Stuart, you need to be more frugal. Oh, no. This is parishioner money. No, look, no, listen, listen, I just need 30 million more dollars, that's all. Just parishioner money. Look, I need to hire private jets to impress prospective lawyers I want to hire. Mm -hmm. I need to fly around privately. You can't expect me to fly around on commercial, uh, on a commercial jet. I mean, it's so downstat for the church to have its top lawyer on a flying commercial. Well, Monique Yingling has to approve. Did you know that nothing is spent out of the IAS without Monique Yingling's approval? Do you see what kind of lawyer she is? She will do what Miscavige calls, tells her she's to do. Compliant. Well, I understand that, but not every lawyer out there is Monique Yingling, and I still need a private chat. I still need some five-star hotels. In fact, I've got to take my existing 16 lawyers to Palm Beach for a conference, and I have to take the paralegal teams with them to get ready for the next round of legal and... Florida and Texas, and I think, I hope not Oklahoma, but it could go bad there. Georgia, I think we're going to squeak by. In Nevada, your uh, PR got let off with a year probation, so you did okay there. But, you know, we need to bring all these people together. It just costs a lot of money to represent the church. So, $30 million should do it for the balance of this calendar year. You know what bothers me? The media don't seem to be scared of us in the legal arena anymore. Two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist then. Um, what? what? Probably. My lawyers helped me with the wording of that joke. No, the media has uh, become emboldened by the internet. It's time for a head on a pike, but mm. the problem is this thing in the Constitution called freedom of speech. Now, mm. the government's not going to interfere. That's the whole First Amendment. So we have to fight the Internet on its own terms. This is why I need the eight writers for Freedom Magazine. And maybe you need to get some more new movie stars. How are things going on recruiting some new movie stars? Mm. Well, in the last 25, 30 years, no movie star since Cruz, and well, no A-list movie star has been recruited. Celebrity Center recruiters go to all the audition calls. There are lines of little wannabe actors, yeah. and they're trying very hard to get them to come into Celebrity Center. You see, this would help me get some new lawyers if I could say, hey, you can have your picture taken with a Scientology movie star if you work for the Church of Scientology. Tom Cruise, it's okay. People like their picture taken with him. Travolta, sure, but they're old news. I think we need some new movie stars mm -hmm. and maybe even a couple new billionaires. Mm -hmm. So the church definitely, I mean... I might have been wrong, but I thought this golden age of tech phase two was going to boom your stats. I thought superpower was going to bring in millions of new people. How are things going there? I don't have an update on that.